Hello everyone, the Dex here, welcome to episode 36 of Missing to Let's Play. I've been doing uh, quite some few things off camera. Uh, and actually I've also gave this uh, spawner a test and I, it, it, I noticed that it, it, it's working, there is no problem with it. Probably the thing is because it's a tier 1 spawner, that may be causing it to be like a much lower success chance of actually spawning or, or spawn rate or I don't know what. But for the meantime, I'm leaving it here, and I'm actually, as you can see, I have an empty soul shard in my inventory because I'm planning to actually also start gathering a new soul shard. And once this one will get to tier two, I'm going to exchange between the spawners and <coughs> and have uh, basically a tier two spawner, and then keep collecting on the tier one uh, soul shard. This way, I can pretty much kind of uh, keep farming. Keep farming, keep farming them faster while still farming them, like I'm still collecting and eventually we'll be able to get it to do even more stuff. Hopefully to eventual point where it will actually be able to spawn where I'm not around with a tier 5 spawner. Actually a tier 4 spawner is enough for this. But yeah, that's one thing. Uh, the other thing that I did, uh, I actually moved the way I, I, I like geographically moved the location of where I'm bringing snowballs from into the system because I didn't like the distribution of the snowballs uh, in the current in the way it was working and this way makes it as even as it possible it's possible can be like it can be any more even than that the way it was set up previously were with the ender chest here all those deployers would be full with snowballs, and all of these would be empty, and all the snowball stacks would simply bounce uh, back and forth between these uh, deployers, which wouldn't be very nice. And one more thing, if you're looking at the minimap, and actually once I wake up you'll be able to see, I added um, a village waypoint uh, for the village that is relatively close to my house, uh, over, the, over there. And I included the beekeeper note to know that this village has a beekeeper, which is a special, kind of a special property, uh, you may call it. Um, because the new update of Thumbcraft has added um, a new type of villager, or at least uh, gave the old Thumbcraft villagers a way to trade with you uh, a special resource material, a special research material, which I'm quite uh, looking forward to find. Now I didn't recall which village had one. I think I did find one village with uh, the Thumbcraft vendor. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm, sure I'm started marking off this one, and I'm gonna try and find the other two villages to check which one of them had it and which one didn't. And also, actually, before doing that, as you can see, this chest is starting to get really crazy, <coughs> really crazy full. So I'm going to add. Um, because I still want to use that blaze farm as an experience farm, I'm going to add pretty much the same mechanic I used here uh, for any excess material. I'm going to need a transposer for that, not a filter, there is no point in wasting a filter for this. I'm going to need a piston, a redstone, and wooden cobblestone. And also one more thing, I actually, in my mining gauge, I stopped two of the quarries because What's happening right now, if you can see, I've basically changed the routing of the energy from this and this to only extract energy, of course, resulting basically in more energy being inputted into the quarry. Uh, what's happening right now, I'm digging uh, quite slowly with four quarries instead of digging fast with two quarries, which result in simply a bunch of dirt and cobblestone and stuff that I don't need. And... Eventually I'll get to a bunch of iron and copper and all those good stuff at the same point. Like right now I'm getting nothing, a lot of nothing, and eventually I'll get a lot of everything. And so this way I can, I don't know, like make it a little bit more normalized, if you can call it that. And by the way, if you ask yourself, then why don't I just go with one quarry? Well, let me answer that with a visual answer. If I make this not take any power anymore, and you look at the, this power cell, you'll actually notice that this will... And in any second I will start generating a lot more power than actually consuming it because those engines that I have right here which are like what uh, the six another six and seven 19 engines 
actually generate a lot more energy than one quarry can consume and they actually start to stack up uh, for some reason I can't seem to show at the moment uh, but when I did it off screen it did happen I'm not sure what's happening no, but actually maybe it was a bug but anyway still I'm rather I rather like dig with two quarries at the same time uh, than one and have three uh, not working uh, then yeah like, preferring two and two not working than one and three not working essentially the same dig rate the same digging rate is pretty much the same because I'm still investing the same power just it's gonna get to more valuables faster so yeah okay so let's get a transposer and I will need an obsidian pipe and a void pipe Obsidian and void. It's gonna be a very simple solution. Nothing too fancy about it. Really, really, really simple. Actually, should got more one more tube. Okay, so again, as I said, very very simple. Simply going to make uh, a slightly longer tubing system. Like add m one more tube down here which will make whatever is in there a longer tubing network which will make this a second priority and simply place the transposer here the obsidian pipe here and the void pipe here that's it, very very simple, nothing too fancy about it so the blaze rod will always um, prefer, <coughs> prefer this chest because it's a closer inventory slot and whenever it's full it will go simply be destroyed because I still would like to keep farming experience from here, even though, even if my uh, blaze chest is full. I just love this. How can you not love this? This is brilliant. And by the way, I don't actually recall how many cows did I have when I left the farm two minutes ago, but as you can see I didn't place any food in it, and you can see, I'm pretty sure that the number of the cows grew by at least one or two. I may be wrong with a, ba a baby cow growing up, but yeah, this thing is definitely working. It's, it's working slow, but it's working. But then again, the moment that I'll have um, a tier 2 shard, I'll, be, I'll replace the tier 1 with the tier 2, and then, yeah, it's gonna be even faster. So it's not bad. Actually, before going to look for the other villages, I would like to move my extractor here to this uh, power network and actually slightly automate the process here so because my rubber farm has been starting to collect quite nicely and I'd like to start uh, automatically process it okay so let me get extractor and before placing it down and making it explode I did make a spare transformer at some point yep so let's place it down First, remove this wire, place down this, transformer upgrade, and replace the wire. Okay, so this extractor is here. Now, let's have, um, I want to have kind of the same system that I have here. A filter with an ender chest and a relay. So I have an inner buffer and the machine itself as the last buffer. So I'm going to need an ender chest. I forgot, did I go for green, green, green with the rubber trees? Yeah, okay, so green, 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 as you can see that I collected, I really collected a bunch of rubber wood, and of course my farm will need more humus. This one will also need more peat bog. And yeah, it's gonna require some maintenance, or maybe some automatic maintenance eventually, but not yet. Anyway, I did also farm some endermen off screen, so yeah, I can do that. Uh, Let's get rid of some unnecessary things. Okay, so an ender pearl, a blaze rod. I will need a chest, so some wood. Um, the green wool that I do not have. Let me go and share a uh, sheep. Okay, got my green wool. Uh, this, and I'm going to need some obsidian. So, let's create first the chest, <coughs> the obsidian, the blaze rods, the ender pearl, and the chest itself. I'm going to need a filter, which I think I have, a relay, which I have, 
and a timer which I don't have yep okay so not sure what's happening here I did notice that uh, my power supply was running uh, my sorry my quarry supply is running low I'm noticing that this stopped and I have a feeling that my solution for my nether pump is not working I may need to find another solution or I may just go with uh, a pit fired engine for my nether because a pump and a liquid transposer don't consume that much energy I think this is also probably why I'm, when I try to give you an example of what's going on oh what Did I exhaust the nether of lava? What's going on? Um. Oh crap. Yeah. <sighs> Don't ever go without the full jetpack. Uh, I hope I didn't lose too much. I was carrying uh, the ender chest. Yeah, I was carrying quite some valuable things. It was bad timing. I really need my gravity suit already. This is just ridiculous. And I don't have my long full boots. I need to be careful. This guy shooting at me right now. Okay, so this survived at least. I actually think that my longfall boots were the most valuable thing with them costing four diamonds, but yeah. Okay, why isn't this working? Did I exhaust all the lava here? Let's give the test. If I exhausted all the lava, that means that right now, if I'm trying to collect this lava bucket, it shouldn't work. And it works. So what's going on? Oh, this block. Okay. Let's see what's the problem. Yep, I'm gonna need to somehow connect this block with lava. Because now... It's, yeah, it's trying to pump out of a shallow lava block and there's nothing there. The fact that I just died is very annoying me. I didn't want to die. But yeah, I have a problem right now. Let me see if I can find a way to solve it. Actually, exactly on the contrary. It appears that Magmatic Engine is working perfectly. Because, yeah, th that, that system with the rolling machine is perfect. Because um, if it's not pumping right now, that's a proof that this machine has been working for quite some time and that's a, a good sign that this is actually working okay let's try and make this work let me try and artificially extend the connection of the lava here I'm not sure why it's been pumping from here instead of there it usually uh, makes a good decision of where to pump from okay let's see basically I'm mining under the blocks here. Try to increase um, the distance here. Let's also manually add some buckets. Of lava in here. Okay. Now let's see if it's working. Hope it does. Uh, yeah, not really. I'm not sure what's the problem though. Why is it acting like this? Why is it not extracting from all this area? 
Why is he trying to extract from so close and ignoring this? Was there an update to Buildcraft that I'm not aware of that is causing this? Okay, I'm gonna try to figure out what's the problem off screen. Okay, so while trying to figure out what's going on, I actually noticed that I was pumping a lot more than I had thought. There was this small cobblestone bridge that I've placed here, and apparently it was kind of a dam, because this entire lava lake is one block higher. You can see that if this thing is going down. And I was apparently, yeah, I was pumping a lot more than I was thinking I, I was pumping. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm still not sure what's going on. I'm considering simply uh, replacing the pump block itself. I'm not sure what's breaking it. I've tried moving and removing uh, source blocks and sometimes it works but and sometimes they don't work but there is no real definite solution of what's going on here. So I'm gonna try and simply replace it. Okay, so I've tried replacing the actual block itself and I tried mining uh, netherrack around it and I've tried so many other things and nothing seems to work. And I, this is a big problem because all my systems, or basically my two main ones, which is my industrial craft system and my uh, quarry system, are very much reliant on this on this lava. If I if I don't harvest lava, I'm pretty much screwed. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to create a new hub for my pumping station. I'm not sure why what's going on. I'm I to be honest, I have no clue what's going on. I I know no clue why it's acting like like it is. But yeah, I'm going to create uh, a different area for mining this. I'm probably going to do this off screen because you guys see me do this already, and it's not that much exciting. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit when it's done, or if something else is interesting. Alright, so I'm in the middle of building my station, and actually this time around I want to use uh, linking books to get there. I'm tired of going through my nether, nether uh, portal every time, so yeah, I'm going to create this uh, linking book to link back to my uh, pump. So first I'm going to create a linking book to the overworld, which I'm going to place in the nether, over here. Linking book. And I'm going to need another book and create a linking book in another. So let me get some papers from my research area. Okay, and craft a book. There we go. And this one I'm gonna be placing in the nether, of course. So this linking book will be in the nether. So I'm just gonna place the, link, the stand here and rename the book. Um, it's overworld, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so I'm gonna make my way to my uh, pump area. Okay, so my origin pump is over there. I made my second station here, made it look uh, fancy schmancy with all those uh, glass windows. And I'm gonna uh, rename it to nether pump number one, in case there will any, any time be a number two. So there we go. And I'm gonna create the linking book be here, so around the entrance. Uh, place this stand here, so this one will be linking to the overworld, and this one will be linking to my pumping station. Slightly buggy, but it works. Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, I'm gonna need to move all my original uh, pump here. Okay, so I got hopefully everything I need. Let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna need to place... I'm gonna start with uh, the pump itself. I'm gonna place it, uh, let's see, here. So this is a pump. Uh, my magmatic engine, which will be facing... Okay, I'm gonna rotate it anyway. And... This pump will be in going into the liquid transposer, which will be facing like this and my conduits will be going like so with the rolling machine here obviously oh I've lost my buildcraft wrench yeah 
I lost some stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna rotate things later. Um, then sh ender chest will be here. So liquid comes from the top. Actually, no. Power comes from the top. Liquid comes from the left side. Output comes from the right side. And the buckets will be going from the back as well. So like this. Okay, so I'm going to need my wrench now, of course. Okay, so I got my wrench. So this one will be going to the top. This one will be extracting power. I'm going to need to give the this bucket a small kick, of course. So let's give it a lava bucket. Oh, you can't do it anymore. Uh, how can I do this? Hmm, this is actually a slight problem. How can I manually give it power? Or lava for that matter. Maybe with the portable tank? Okay, let's do everything else except for that now. I'm gonna take care of that later. Actually, you know what? I can just give some power with some redstone, redstone uh, engines first and then it will be taken care of. Um, yeah, okay, so let's do the rest now. Um, so my filter will be coming out from here. I should have brought a screwdriver as well. Okay, for some reason these engines refuse to start, uh, so I placed another one here. Again, all of those are temporary, but I'm not sure why these two refuse to start. Maybe this power absorption by this, the conduit will prevent them from starting? I don't know. However, I do need some lava to actually get started here, so I have to do something. Okay, so I got my screwdriver, so this one will be extracting out empty buckets into here and filter this. And this actually doesn't mean anything, but yeah, let's get rid of this as well. Um, let's place some empty buckets here and have a timer. Every three seconds and of course finally a chunk loader to keep everything here force loaded this is pretty good let's go for three okay the only thing remaining to do is just wait for this to start working so I can actually do something here this might take a while but let's give it a second Okay, so these two engines stars turned green and they still refuse to work and because I'm still waiting for the initial kick I brought uh, some buildcraft pipes, condu conductive pipes, to actually get something done because this one redstone engine uh, will take some time to actually do something. So yeah, got this wooden pipe and this golden pipe, this should start working now. Hope. Or not. Hmm, this is weird. Okay, so I'm sure what's going on even I broke this one. And obviously with my bad luck, uh, the, all the accumulated power finally extracted the bucket of lava, but obviously it went to the transposer and not to the engine. So I'm gonna have to wait for another bucket of lava. Okay, so finally this engine is working. Uh, it actually decided to fill, first completely fill this up before going any further. Uh, but yeah, now finally this is working, the system is back to normal. Can break this uh, makeshift thing that I made here. And replace the rolling machine. And I'm actually going to keep these two redstone engines again. In case of any extreme scenario of unknown reason, there is still going to be some sort of... Uh, power generation here uh, and this entire thing made me understand how much of an unreliable system that lava can be like I don't know why it's happening or why it's happened but for some reason it just stopped pumping and that's a problem as you can see I, I just I had nothing I could do until I fixed this because I'm completely reliant on, on lava if I don't have lava I'm, I can't do anything uh, so yeah, I will probably want to try and work towards a different system at some point, but at least, yeah, I'm back in business in here. 
so I can finally complete what I wanted to do here with uh, the extractor, although I've lost uh, the things, I can make them again. Blaze rods are no longer a problem. The ender pole kind of hurts me, but uh, yeah, I can do it. I can manage. Actually, if all those machines, if all those engines are operating again, I can actually show you my theory here. So I turned off the one that I tried to show in the beginning of the episode. I'm turning off this quarry, letting only this quarry run, and power should start accumulating here faster than it's being consumed. I guess. Or not. They are all are working, right? None of them. This is not working. Yep. Okay, so it, it takes some time, but as you can see, one quarry cannot keep up with 19 uh, engines. I have 19, right? I have 6, another 6, and 7. So that's 12, 7, yeah, 19. 19 times 4, uh, 76 Minecraft jewels per tick. And one quarry cannot keep up with it. I'm gener generating a surplus slowly. So this is why I'm going for two quarries as well, in addition to... You can see the speed that it goes through. This is insane. Okay. Okay, so I finally got everything I need to get uh, this extractor going. I hope. Um, yeah. Okay, so first I'm going to need the relay. So I have this additional buffer in here. Going down, of course. Uh, the transposer. Actually, no, I, I want to have a filter and transposer. Bed pick. I need... Um, hmm, I don't have a filter, apparently. Let me get one. Okay, so I've got my filter, uh, which will be facing down, like this. Uh, and my ender chest, my green, green, green ender chest, which will pull out rubber wood. I'm gonna pull uh, one stack at a time, if I can afford doing so. Of course, place down a timer. Like so. So now, I'm also automatically extracting rubber. Eventually, I'm always gonna have at least one stack here available to me, uh, with all the rubber wood being prepared to be processed. And eventually, when I can afford, I'm going to also get get some overclockers here, so when, the, when I pull rubber out, I'm going to have another stack ready as soon as possible. Okay, so actually, because I've died, I want to see how much two jars, how much experience can two jars give me from zero to how much. So, let's see. Actually, it's a little bit more than two jars because I'm also they're also gathering a little bit more experience while doing that process. Uh, yeah, seems like gonna be like what level 42, 43, no, 41. Okay, so yeah, but then again, I'm collecting still a little bit more experience while doing that. Okay, so level 49 from uh, two jars and then some. Okay, so I'm finally going to go on uh, trying to find where that villages were. I actually forgot. I remember one of them was in the middle of the ocean and another one I forgot. So I'm going to try and find them and I'll update you guys when I do. Okay, so I found that other dungeon, and eh, not dungeon, that other village which had also the buggy terrain generation you can see in the minimap, uh, the weird blocks and things. That's how I remember there is one here. So let's see if there is any special villager here. Most notably, I want to find a Thumbcraft villager. The one that can sell those uh, special research fragments, or whatever they're called. I emptied out all those, right? Yep. Okay, so this one will sell me cookies. That's useful. This one looks different. Uh... Okay, I don't know if that's a Thumbcraft one. It is definitely special. Is there one in one of these towers? Um, doesn't seem like it. And in that house maybe? Nope. Okay, so to be honest, I'm not sure if that, if that guy is a special villager. Uh, 
but he sells the thing is that he sells me an enchanted pickaxe, which is quite interesting, but yeah, that's not very useful. Is there any other villager in here? Probably not. Okay, but I'm going to mark it, so I know where that village is in case I want to find it uh, at some point again. What is this guy selling papers for? No. Okay, so I'm going to mark it and try finding an another village. Okay, so I found, uh, I think I, this is actually a new village that I haven't found before. Someone is triggering something in here. Let's see if I can find anything. Oh, they're, they're stepping on this. Okay, this one is selling arrows. Not so interesting. Uh, there is a library house in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I haven't been here. Also, this great wood tree. Uh, is this the same arrow guy? Probably not. Okay, this one is selling meat. Oh, they really build their village on a cliff. For some reason. Oh, glowstone. Oh, a chest. Oh, yeah. hello. That's what I've been looking for. Knowledge fragments. Okay, this is unfortunately not a villager that I can trade an infinite amount of it. But yeah, why not? And also a skeleton skull. Why not? So, 13 of those. Nice. Not bad. Can't complain. Uh, is there... If I could actually... Oh, there is another one of those towers here. If, would, if I could actually find a villager that sells them, that would be perfect. So I could have kind of an infinite supply. But I guess that's simply asking for too much. Oh, this guy's village is really messed up. They seriously picked a bad place to set it up okay this one is selling flint and steel this one is selling bread any villagers in here nope they probably just fell and die what is this guy dancing about okay paper not that interesting any other villager And I think that's all. So again, unfortunately no villager. Maybe I need to start trading with them and they may end up selling it as a second tier trade. But I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna mark it as another village so I know it's there. Uh, village 3, nothing. And I actually marked the second village as nothing with a question mark because I'm not exactly sure if that uh, the guy that trades enchanted gear is actually normal or not. It might still be a special feature. Ooh, a silver wood tree. Okay, so I'm going to keep looking. Okay, so I just took a small peek at the length of this video and noticed that uh, it's reached a point. Um, so yeah, I'm going to probably keep searching off screen for the villagers that could sell me those... Uh, fragments because I, I'm probably going to need more than one stack of them uh, so yeah so that 13 that I found are nice even more than nice but they're not enough so yeah as I said I'm going to keep searching and till then thank you guys for watching see you guys next time